Okay, hi everyone. We are now entering 4719 Park Bend Road. This is our new home, Mommy. Take a look. This is our front door. Um, I'm standing out in the street so that you can see all the trees. Um, the two windows that I'm looking at there are the dining room windows. If we scan here to the right, those windows there, those three cathedral looking windows, are the windows of your bedroom all these trees in our front yard. This is our front yard from here all the way across to here. Okay, so now we're entering the front door of the house, which don't get freaked out by the tile. I will have it changed before you get here. Our front entry tile is very nice. It's a cream colored square block. This is what tile should look like. However, this is what the tile starts to look like as we go across. See why I'm going to change it? I'll have carpet in before you come. Um, if you look straight ahead across, there's our fireplace. Off to the right are the French doors out to the backyard. I'm walking into the living area and I'm going to go up now and show you how high the ceilings are. The ceilings are very, very high. We have a window above the French doors way up there. Okay, so now I'm turning left into the kitchen nook area, which also has that ugly green and white tile. Um, we'll have to live with that for a moment. Um, can't afford to change it in there. We have bench seat windows in our nook area, and that is the garage door. So as we turn from the nook area and we go into our kitchen, let me stand back so you can see how big the kitchen is. Look how huge it is, Mama. Cabinets all the way on both sides. Ugly green and white tile again, of course. Um, they have white appliances in here. I'm going to trade them out for ours. We have a window over our sink. There are literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then drawers on the bottom. One, two, three, and three more cabinets. Next to the stove, we have another drawer and cabinet, the dishwasher. Under the sink, another drawer and cabinet, and another drawer and cabinet. If we go to the other side of the kitchen, which you can see out into the living room, as you can see, we have a whole countertop. It's very long, and it has one, two, three, four, five cabinets with drawers all along the top. Okay, so now we're going the opposite way in the kitchen, and we have a pantry um, right here in our kitchen. As you can see, it's the whole thing. So this is our formal dining room, which I'm thinking will make an office that goes out to where our entry is again. You can either enter, see how we just went in a big circle. Okay, now we're going to go down the hallway to your room. So here is the hallway to your room. We're going down. Notice we just passed the stairwell. We go down, here's a linen closet right here in the hallway. Um, actually, it's not a linen closet. It's underneath the stairwell and it actually goes back. It's very dark. You cannot see. Um, it goes the whole length of the house underneath. Um, we have our half bath. Let me turn on a light so that you can see. We have a half bath. We'll have to do something about the duck wallpaper. But it's cute for now. It's got a pedestal sink and then the commode. You come out of the bathroom, notice that I am down the hall again. Um, Brian, close that door so I can show Mama the length of that hallway. So we're all the way in the half bath. There's the length of the hallway that you can go out and make a left to the front door. We come out and we go into the bedroom, which is now your bedroom. There are your windows of your bedroom. Here is your wall-to-wall -wall scan of your bedroom. Very, very large. It is a 17 by 14. It's very, very big. We come in and we go into your bathroom, Mama. Here's your bathroom. Look how big it is. We go in. Here's your shower. Inside of your shower, I don't know if you can tell, but there is a seat you can actually sit on um, to take a shower. Next to the shower is your sunk-in bathtub um, here. Then we keep going, and to the left was just a wall, but if you keep going, we now have the Jack and Jill sinks with cabinets and drawers all the way down for you. You turn, go back toward next to the tub, 
and you have your very own linen closet here in your bathroom. You go here, you come around into this area, which is another walkway, and then you have your commode in here. We're going to go back out into your bathroom where we will enter your walk-in closet. Look at this closet, Mama. Absolutely huge. It goes all the way back. It's got closet made built into it already. All the way back that way. We can walk in all the way and turn. And now I'm standing at the far end of your closet, which is here. I'm way back in the corner. Um, so as you can see, you have plenty of shelving and hooks and all kinds of things, whatever you want to do in here. Now we're leaving your bathroom. We're going back into your bedroom. We're going back out. We're out of your bedroom. We're going back down the hallway. That's your the half bath for the guests. We turn. We're going back toward the entryway. But before we get there, we're going to go ahead and head upstairs. The stairs, as you can see, are fully carpeted um, in a tan carpet, so it shouldn't be too hard to match this carpet. We're going up three, four, five, six, seven stairs, and we're on this landing area, which also has a great big, huge um, window going all the way up. We turn, we turn, and we go up more stairs, which there are one, two, three, for another six steps. So you go up, you get to the top of the stairwell and notice the landing right there and you can look down and over into the living kitchen dining area. There's our French doors to the backyard. So I'm at the top of the stairs, I'm making a left. I'm going to go down the hallway and as you can see there's another bathroom there. Won't bore you with the details of that bathroom. It looks just like a normal bathroom. I go to the right and I enter another bedroom, which is just a 12 by 10 or an 11 by 10 room, very small, with also closet made in the closet, but not walk-in. Coming out, passing the bathroom, going into the other bedroom, another 11 by 10 room, also more closet made into the closet areas all built in.